To replace the bronze gear in a traction machine, begin by removing the center assembly from the machine. Support the assembly on a solid platform so you can remove the six nuts and washers that secure the body bolts to the gear. Use a soft hammer to tap the body bolts and remove them from the gear and gear center. The gear and the center assembly have been machined for a shrink fit to achieve the tightest possible fit. In order to remove the gear, use a rosebud torch or an equivalent high BTU torch to heat the gear in a circular motion, causing the gear to expand. Wearing gloves to protect your hands from the heat, the gear can then easily be removed from the center assembly. Before you install the new gear, be certain that the flange on the center assembly is free of any burrs or particles. File the surface as you see here, then use a cloth to wipe it clean. The gear must also be free of any particles or dirt that might prevent it from a solid contact with the flange. File the gear and wipe it with a clean cloth. Now the new gear can be placed on the center assembly. To do this, use a torch to heat the gear in a circular motion. Wear gloves to place the new gear on the assembly and spin it to ensure solid contact between the flange and the gear. Line up the bolt holes, but let the gear cool before the bolts are inserted. Use a soft hammer to replace the body bolts in the gear. Note that if you are putting a different gear on the machine, the holes may need to be reamed to the proper size of the body bolts. Replace the washers and nuts and using a crisscross pattern, tighten the bolts to the proper torque for a dry grade 5 bolt. Should you have any questions regarding the maintenance and adjustment procedures we have demonstrated in this video, contact Hollister Whitney Elevator Corporation.